Good afternoon, everybody. It is September 11th today, and we are trying to cut green lentils. Actually, they're red lentils, but they look kind of green. The plants are regrowing. Plants are regrowing because we're in a wet climate up here. Here, let me show you. So, these lentils right here that are still in their pots, they're good. They're ready to go. They're crunchy. But you got this green material, oops, here. We got this green material, which has been sprayed, um, but it's still gonna take a while for this stuff to die down. There's no real pods on this stuff. It's just green plant material, okay? Then we got some uh, sow thistle plant material. Like this is all dead. Like this is dry and ready to rock and roll, okay? But we still got some green, this, this is actually a lentil green planted lentil. No pods on it though, but we still got to run through the combine, which is no big deal. Unless the combine says no. So remember the last video of combine and lentils? Lee and I, we had a terrible problem with the chopper plug-in. It was bringing back all my PTSD from the ideal combines. Put that in perspective. When, uh, when we were running the ideal combines, some combines were worse than others, but they had a terrible, terrible chopper plugging problem, and we would plug, I would plug up to six times per day. Six times per day. And they're not around here anymore, obviously. The ideal, or the, the ideal, the, the X9, it's supposed to be the, you know, the, the combine, best in the world. And, here we are digging out the chopper yet again. How far did you go, Mike? That is a really good question. So we put our header down right here at the header trailer, which is kind of in the approach, not in the approach. To, that's a whole other story. And then we went all the way around down here. Derpy, 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 plugged, plugged over there. So we went like, I don't think that's 300 feet. We went 300 feet. Basically, we went to the material, probably started plugging here. Pluggy, 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 pluggy. And by the time I got over there, you guys, I was rocking in the ketchup. We were in the ketchup and I had my header picked off the ground. I I know when I plug the back end of a combine, it's like, and you're not even doing anything. Your header's up. Your canvases are running empty. You're sipping your coffee. It's like, holy crap, this combine is like dying for oxygen. Like burning can fuel diesel fuel like you wouldn't believe. So I'm like, ah, we plugged her. We plugged her real good. We plugged her real good. We packed that puppy right in there. Remember the last video on the lentils? I showed you guys where it's plugging in the chopper, kind of like right in between the two. Here, I'll show you. So this is a really freaking annoying problem. I got rid of combines because they were plugging and then I went right back to plugging combines. Um, remember, it was plugging right up in here, right at the divider, basically right up in here. Now I know what you're thinking. Mike, the straw looks too green. What are you trying to do, silage here? This is not a forage harvester, Mike. It's not a freaking forage harvester. It's a combine. It's meant to be dry. Oh, my bad. My bad. I didn't realize that after we spent 1.3 million. I didn't realize that. I thought that I could combine in maybe adverse, not the most perfect conditions. You know what I mean? The lentils are ready to go. Sample looks fine. A few greens, but they'll iron out in the bin. How do I know? Well, it's a really good question. Remember we took tough lentils before? We took them at about 15, 15.5% moisture, which was on the green side, not the moisture side, which does make a difference. 15.5 green is different than 15.5 wet. All right, guess what? We just tested them. We took an average test from that, and we did a little circle right in here. We did, we did not do the half mile yet. Test 15.2 with a little bit of green, which is fine. We'll take it at that. We gotta cut our losses because there is more rain coming. Up here there's rain coming, like even when there's not supposed to be rain coming, there's rain coming. Two weeks of sun, there's still rain coming. Every time there's, you get up in the morning, you're like, there's rain coming. There's always rain coming up here. And this is what's gonna happen every time it rains. It just keeps collapsing these lentils down and pretty soon they're just one with the ground and they're rotten. 
Like they're no good for nothing. And see, we even got new fresh lentils coming. Ready to go, little guys. <laughs> oh man. So anyway, that's super frustrating. Donovan's in there digging it out right now. I think he's right inside the chaffer. And then once we have the sieves all dug out, um, then we gotta dig the actual chopper up. Hey Donovan, what do you think of the uh, X9, buddy? What? What do you think of the X9? You're running the wrong color. <laughs> oh man, Donovan is not a he's not a fan of uh, the, the X9 at all. He is uh, Claus 88. He's just like Lee. Lee and Donovan, they they like the Claus Combine, and maybe I will too. I don't know. If I gotta do this again, and you know, as soon as I put it in the put it on the dirt, it's gonna freaking plug up in 300 feet again. Why? Because the conditions aren't awesome. They're not awesome. It's not all perfectly like this. And for the record, for the record, at home we cut what seven, eight bushel crop, which was seven, eight times better than it was last year uh, in lentils. I still plugged my chopper one time. Only one time on a few thousand acres, so that's not too bad. But it was deathly dry. We're talking like Kalahari Desert dry, right? 8%, 7% moisture and no material. I still plugged it one time. And then we come up here to where we're actually, this is about a 35 to 45 bushel red lentil crop, which is pretty good, pretty good crop. That's a good crop anywhere. Not awesome. Mikey? Not happy. That Not happy, Donovan. Bucks. The next one's a thousand. What? That one's 500 bucks. The next one's a thousand. <laughs> we, haven't, we, we haven't even got to the chopper yet. We haven't even got to this chopper. Hey, you want to just set it down? here but it's still built up right where it's been building up right there that's how it's been plugging right there Let's see if we go over here on this side yeah right there look at that that's where it's plugging and she's gonna do it again I'll dig that out shut this thing down and we're going for an S-series. 
All that S series has to do is get past where the X went. Automatic winner. We're gonna find out. All right, we're just uh, we're just hooking up the header here. We have a 745. This 780. Little update on this. This isn't my combine. It's a loaner combine because my uh, 690 is still in the shop. Uh, they had to do a plan. No, they had to do. I can't remember what they had to do with it. But anyway, we have a loader combine. It doesn't even have a it doesn't even have spreaders. It just has a chopper with fit. Who would order that? I have no idea up here. But anyway, everyone to their own. So we're gonna put this combine down over here once we get it all calibrated. And then all you have to do is just go past where the X9 was and it's automatically a win. <laughs> But anyways, he's got to calibrate. So, uh, so right here we have a green slough, which we kind of cut around there, hence the header trailer. So I do want to I do want to state that all combines of all colors will plug in green lentils, like green lentil straw. I should mention green lentil. These are red lentils. I'm talking green lentil straw like that. Okay, that will that can plug a combine, any combine. Doesn't matter what kind of combine it is. But the thing is, that's a slough. We went around that. What you don't want to plug in is this, this kind of stuff. You gotta be able to get through some green weeds. This might be a little bit excessive, but you should still be able to spit that out back into your combine, okay? Obviously this is deader than a doorknob. That better not be a problem. And then down over here, again, Canada Thistle. We got a little bit of regrowth right here. This is on the tire tracks. A little bit of green here, some thistle. This should easily go through a combine, even that. This should go through a combine too. A little bit of Canada thistle should not be a problem. That's why we go around the sluice. But apparently it's a problem. All right, I think it's just about calibrated. We had to calibrate the flex coat that we just came off of the Durham. We were in rigid mode. He's gonna take this stuff right here. Get his uh, header sensitivity set where we want to go. I think we need a little bit more. Oh, there it is. That's a little better. That's a little better. Oh, yeah, that's better. It's not even a spreader. Some of these sloughs so we're gonna have to go around these we're gonna take these little bit of a little bit greener draws we're gonna leave the major green we're gonna come around here like this and then we're gonna leave that but we're gonna take that and then of course this is deader than dead and dead and then uh, over there is all Canada thistle 
and South Thistle. That has to go through a combine. It will go through a combine. And it's going through this combine. No problem. Let's take a look in this hopper here. Actually, these don't look too bad, to be honest. Some cracks, definitely okay. There's quite a few cracks. All in all, though, that's a pretty dang good sample. That might, that's probably still a number two, which is the best you can get. Worst case scenario, it's an extra two. So some of these little guys, they're gonna turn later on. It's the dead, 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 dead green ones that won't. I don't know if we have any dead, dead, dead green ones here. We got some, we're gonna have to do a little tweaking on this sample. That's pretty good. What did it say that it was uh, moisture wise? Uh, 14? 14? 15? 15. Yeah, yeah, it was tested 15.5 on the actual tester. So remember with the X9, we couldn't uh, auger 15.5 or even 15% lentils. Kept shearing the pins. And I think. We would want to lower these down as well to make sure that that doesn't happen with the S-Series. Okay. That's awesome. I'm happy with that. I can keep that. That's no big deal. I just got to be able to cut it. Donovan, I see Durham. Hey, that ain't my fault. Oh, I see Durham. I, oh, no. That's not my fault. That scent is in the wrong spot. Oh, <laughs> well, that's high. Yeah, it's quite literally actually in the wrong spot. Well, so that's what it is. The green you see, thistle, and then we'll go around where it's actually like plant, plant, plant green, but we'll take some of this. And that's exactly what we were doing with the X. So it looks like I am pulling off the field with the X. And uh, I'm going to go and cut wheat because apparently they're supposed to be good at that. And we're going to let the S series cut the lentils because apparently they're good at that. When you're combining lentils up here, you don't get perfect conditions, so you gotta be able to get them off in adverse conditions. Right into the X9. Just just smash them all up here. Combine uh demo derby. He's just trying to clear a bit of a spot here for us. I'm scared to go 300 feet. I don't even want to do anything. I'm just going to suck back up and go to rigid mode. Get the heck out of Dodge. Then we can move our header trailers and get some organization in here. The X is good, just not in lentils. And just because we can, right through the green, now he's just showing off. <laughs> oh man, well that's coming out pretty pukey. But hey, it's coming out. All right, I'm out of here. See you guys later. You know, I thought that I would just try one last time. One last time. Like, we're, we're dealing with some pretty good product here. I went from where her vehicle is to here. And we just plugged her again. Plugged her again. That's it. 
I'm done.